I finally got my hands on a Lola droid from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show and I cannot wait to check it out. Let's do this. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Backstage Pass. My name's Glenn Higgins, creator of Get Kids Moving, the ultimate superhero and Star Wars workout channel. Now here at Backstage Pass, we like to take you behind the scenes at Get Kids Moving and show you some of the props, collectibles and costumes that we use in our workouts. So if this is something that interests you, please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell to keep updated with all our future content. So, I am really excited about today because I have finally got my hands on something I've been after for quite a while. It is the Lola droid from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Now, this was really difficult to get hold of from Hasbro at the beginning. Um, and also it was quite expensive originally. I actually picked this up for a massive bargain at the London Film and Comic Con from an independent seller. I think it was 55 pounds down from 90, which was an absolute bargain. So I snapped that straight up and have bought it back to open up with you guys. So let's do this. Okay, so to give her her full name, it is LO-LA59, AKA Lola. And this was the droid that featured in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And it was little Princess Leia's kind of droid companion. And I thought it was a cool little character that was added to the show actually. And when I found out they were doing a to scale version of this, I instantly needed to get my hands on it because I thought it would look great on display and I thought also it could feature in some of my cosplay videos on my Instagram and TikTok. I just had to get my hands on it. And like I say, it was quite difficult to get hold of, first of all, from Hasbro because I think they sold out initially or they didn't bring out enough. But I've actually noticed that since it was released, the price has actually dropped on most of the actual websites that they sell it on to the price or around the price I actually got it from Comic Con for. So um, so the price has gone down, which makes it an absolute steal to get hold of as well. So what I'll do is go through what's on the box. So you've got a few, well you've got three different engage modes apparently, or active modes, um, and three different display modes. So you've got Lola has legs um, that you can display her on. She's also got a clear um, stand that you can get her on there. And then obviously you can also just have her in your hands and carry her around. So you've got, so let's lift this. Oh, okay. So you, there, well, you can just see her poking through just at the bottom there. Now it actually says it has 45 plus light, sound and movement combinations, which is pretty amazing. And like I say, I think it, it actually activates um, with movement and sound. And you've got touch activation and all the panels move and everything as well. So it's totally animatronic. So it looks amazing, but we need to get her out of the box and see just how amazing she really is. Let's do this. Okay, so let's get her out of here. Okay, so. Oh, wow. Okay, so the usual business. Okay, we'll pop those back in the box there. You've got the instructions there and I'll pop those to the side. Okay, so. Let's go through this. So that's how it comes in the box. You've got the little legs there. They don't they don't actually move, but that's I guess that's just for display. And then you've got let's put those back in there. If I can. I'll tell you what, I'll put them to the side. Right, so then you have another I 
think this is the clear stand there. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, so you've got both stands. So that is the clear hover mode stand. You've got a very cool little Star Wars emblem there, which is good. And then, I'm guessing this is for the feet to fix onto. Yeah, so that is for the feet to fix onto. You can actually use those now. Let's get those on there. Just press that down. And there they are, the feet on that display. Okay, so, so I'll just pop these to the side and get Lola out of there. So you've oh, okay, so you've got a so you've got a little cardboard protector there for the little antenna with that in the box that could snap, I guess. So that's just protected there. Let's get this out. Okay. Wow. That looks really cool. Let's get rid of this box. Let's get all the bits on here. I'm really, really impressed with that. Well, at first glance, that is a very good version of Lola. And I'm well happy with that. Look at that, let's get a closer look there. You can see that. Very, Cool. And so you've got your little stands here we can okay, so you've got a, okay, so there's a little button there or a little thing that you press in. I'm guessing that's to operate it. We'll find out once we've got the batteries in there, which got the, I'm guessing that you take that off to get the batteries on. We'll do that in a sec. But then you you can pop these stands on here. Not sure how easy they are to put on here. Okay, so you've got the hover mode and the clear stand there, which looks really nice. I like that. Um, and then, as I said, I think it was quite tough to get in. Let's see how that is to get out. Not the easiest to get out. Needs a bit of force. And then, let's just try the legs as well. Okay, and then you've got the legs there as well. It looks really cool. Okay, well, obviously we've got to get the batteries in this and just see how good this animatronic Lola really is. Let's do it. Okay, so I've had a little look at the instructions and yeah, the batteries um, go in the bottom so you've got this whole bottom part this case comes off and you've got all you've got to do is unscrew the three one two three screws underneath um, take that all off and it takes four double a batteries which is a lot of batteries but it does do a lot there's a lot going on with Lola so I'm not really surprised and then also it just takes you through some diagrams as well in the manual, Do you know if you can just see that there. There we go. Um, yeah, just of, of like it, each stand you put it on, how it activates through touch activation, claps, movement, sound, all that sort of business. Um, which is, there's not really much else in that instruction manual. So I'm going to pop that down there and get the case off and get those batteries in. Okay, yeah, so you just take the case off. Let's get our batteries in. I'm kind of expecting Lola to kind of just come alive as soon as you put that last battery in. So we'll see what happens. There we go. Okay, right, let's get, the, get this case back on. Well, straight away, Lola is obviously very active because as soon as those batteries went in, she woke up and started making some noises. So 
This, um, as I said, I have no real idea of how sort of often she makes noises and but um, seems like quite a lot. Uh, that button at the bottom, I think is just to attach to the stand. So let's get her on the, let's get her on one stand. Whoa. So I think, so tapping the top of Lola will activate her. So I think you, this is so cool. I mean, it is fully animatronic and it's brilliant. It really works well on that stand. And like I say, I, th I think she's responding to my voice. Um, I guess you have to tap to get her initially going. And then when you start talking, she just sort of does her thing. It seems like every time I talk, she wants to get involved and moves around and stuff. So that's really cool. It does activate with your voice, which is really, really great. And I think obviously that is the main, oh, you've got the hover sound there. So that is the main control. Pressing that will get her going. I think you have to press it right on the bit there. There we go, okay. Well, let's take it off of the clear stand. And obviously, like I said, it is a bit difficult to get off. Especially when Lola is just dancing around like that. But sorry, Lola, I'm gonna to have to grab you off of this stand. Hang on. So one thing I will say is that it is not easy to get it off these stands. Once they're kind of on, it is fully on there. Um, so before I put Lola on her legs. This is obviously the on-the-go mode. So you can carry Lola around. Seems like she still does her, her thing. You've got that hover sound going on there where she's sort of floating around. Doesn't seem like the ears come up and flap when you've got her in your hands. Seems like that might just be for the, the actual stand. So let's get her on. Get her on the legs and see if that is the case. There we go, right, she's in. Yeah, exactly. So when she's on the stands, it seems like the the ear kind of flaps go. Um, there's a lot more movement, obviously, in the body. The mouth opens um, and just a lot more animated when she's on the stands. And she is activating to my voice as well, which is pretty amazing. Really cool. I think she, I think they've done an amazing job at this and she is just interrupting me through the whole thing. Uh, but they really have. Um, I, I don't know just yet how you turn her off or put her on sleep mode. It doesn't seem like there is a sleep mode on there, but um, to be, honest you may need to take the batteries out for that but I think she's amazing I think she looks great it's amazing that she is just totally to scale of what she would have been in the Obi-Wan show and all of these little features and sounds um, are just incredible I'm, I'm blown away by it I think it's it, it's just done so well by Hasbro and I will say that a, with a lot of my props, I do like to weather these Star Wars props because in the show, I know that Lola's got, you know, a little bit more beaten up. There's, um, there's a little bit more dirt overall on her. It actually seems like she may have gone into sleep mode there as well. While she's asleep, I will tell you that what I'm actually thinking of doing is I'm gonna weather this myself. So I'm gonna do a bit of a black wash on there, which is basically acrylic, or watered down acrylic, just to give it a bit more depth, give it a bit more, you know, that there's dirt kind of caught in the in the lines and stuff on the on the body. I think there's there's a little bit more kind of 
almost kind of scarring around the sides where the metal is showing through. Um, so I can put a little bit of that on there with a the silver paint, a little bit of rub and buff will do that. And just also just dirtying up kind of inside here where all the, the kind of circuits are and stuff. And I noticed as well, I don't know if she's gonna go off if I actually lift up one of her ears, but um, I'm calling them ears. I mean, they're kind of flaps, but um, I like to think that these are Lola's ears. Okay, right. So I don't know if you can see that there, but obviously this is a toy. So it is not super detailed when it comes to things like that because you're not really seeing that. The main sort of bulk of the of the droid obviously looks fantastic, but um, I think it could do with a little bit more detail, a little bit more sort of silver and gold kind of with the wires and stuff like that. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have a little go of that and I will put a, a kind of detailed run through of what I do to weather Lola and I'll put a finished video on YouTube to show you what it ends up looking like. I mean these are just things that I'm a bit you know of a perfectionist when it comes to the props and collectibles and stuff and I like you know my collectibles having that kind of Star Wars weathered look so I definitely think she can be hit with that little bit of weathering um, but out of the box I think she looks incredible and I'm really, really impressed with her. So I'm guessing if I tap the top of her head, she's gonna start going again. So let's just see if that works. There we are, she's awake. That's great. I mean, her movement, the sounds, it's really cool. I think if you love Lola in Obi-Wan Kenobi, and you were looking at purchasing a life-size version of it. Now is the time to do it because it is down in price on most of the websites as well. I'll leave a couple of links for some of the websites that I saw it was on and down in price as well, so you can go and check that out. But um, I mean, it's a bargain. And uh, well, I think you just need to go and purchase your very own Lola. And I think she agrees with me. Thank you for watching, as always. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for all our future content. See you all soon. And may the force be with you. Say goodbye, Lola.